What is up, Madden 25 Gamers? This is probably the 50th time we are recording this, so I hope that it works. But we're talking today about our defensive scheme of the week. We're going to be wrapping it up today. This is our last video until we go into gameplay for this. And there will be a gameplay, I promise you guys. I know you guys have been talking to me every day. Oh, we got to get a gameplay. got to get a gameplay. We're finally going to get one. Uh, but first, before I talk about what I want to talk about today, I want to quickly plug one thing that I was doing yesterday. I was scrolling around. I was looking. I heard something for my friend Gary uh, for my man Gary V uh, hashtag uh, at Gary Vaynerchuk uh, great businessman and one of the things that he was talking about was the future of uh, this new blog site called Medium so of course if Gary V recommends it I'm going to go check it out I went over checked it out and I'm telling you guys this thing is phenomenal it's the best it, it is such a well done site go check it out uh, www.medium.com it's linked up with Twitter and uh, there will be a link in the description and it's a really good, uh, really good experience. Go over and check it out. Even if you don't blog, you can check out some of the other blogs. And shoot, maybe you might check out my blog because I do have some posts up there. So uh, definitely check that out. But um, that's just something I wanted to share with you guys as far as what I was doing yesterday. Today we're talking all about coverage defenses in Madden. We're talking about the 46 bear under because if you guys remember from the last scheme of the week, we talked about the nickel strong and one of the co and then we talked about having the ability to access every coverage in Madden 25 and the reason we want to do this is because it goes well with the blitzing defenses because just think about it from a mindset of, of tendency so you quarterback you drop back you send in that uh, heavy pressure from the inside blitz which is a man look and you're saying you know you can hit the slant route you can hit the, the quick out but I'm hitting the pressure and it's gonna be there in three seconds or less every time three seconds or less boom 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 and you get about five plays with the pressure then all of a sudden you call this one of the coverage defenses we're going to talk about today and they think that they're getting sacked in three seconds. They throw it quick because they don't know what's going on. And all of a sudden they're sacked or, or, they're, or it's intercepted and uh, vice versa. You can coverage, 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 blitz. Either way it works, but I'm telling you guys you have to have both. Uh, coverage defense and blitzes is not an either or, but it's a both and. You have to have a coverage defense and a blitzing defense to be effective in Madden 25. Today we're talking about the coverage portion. And the way we like to play coverage is we like to have a formation within a formation that allows us to access every coverage in the game, every shell in the game. So one of our audibles uh, is going to be the cover one. We're going to come out in that just to kind of exemplify it for you today. But basically what we want to do is we want to run a combination of hybrid coverages. So here's uh, our coverage defense for cover one and two man under. Uh, we want to base align our defense because we want to make it look the same. Uh, then we want to take this linebacker here on the left side of the screen. We want to drop him into a curl to flat zone. We want to drop our defensive tackle to a quarterback spy. And then we want to drop this right of screen defensive end over here into a curl flat zone. And you see that this is going to give us pretty decent coverage. And it's gonna uh, we're going to get pretty decent pressure. I've been getting those very consistently. Just that one block shed quick sack every single time. It's it's about five seconds maximum, about three seconds minimum of time in the pocket they're going to have. And I really, really like this coverage defense, especially from the bear under, because I think the bear under has really good pressure from a four down lineman set. Next play that we're going to talk about is the two men under. Again, we like to base a line. Uh, we like to take this guy, Kenny Vicaro. I like to put him into a hook zone or a curl flat zone, depending on what side of the field we're on. If we're on the right hash, you better believe he's going into a hook zone. But if we're on the left hash, you be or excuse me, if we're on the... Uh, let me restate that. For on the left left hash, you better believe he's going into a hook zone because they're not going to throw corner routes to the short side. But if they're on the right hash, we're going to put him in a curl flat zone because that's the wide side of the field. So base your tendencies off of that. Now we're not going to drop Reddick, but we're going to come over here and we're going to drop Jordan here into a hook zone. We're going to drop this guy over here. Uh, what I like to do actually is I like to leave Jordan Blitzen, drop Jenkins into the hook zone, drop Gillette into the spy, and Reblitz uh, Smith and this two-man rush is going to allow for a one-on-one -on -one matchup on both sides and you see the pressure gets in just a little quicker and uh, get a little more consistent pressure from that look so that's what I like to do with the man coverage is I like to drop zones you don't have to drop the zones that I recommend you could drop whatever zones you want but again it's just the concept that if you're in a man coverage and you want to play coverage defense you want to drop other zones you don't want to drop man because everybody's already manned up and vice versa when we play something like a cover two we're not going to want to drop guys in zones we're going to want to drop guys in man so we're going to take in this situation we're going to take Gillette here man him up on Kenny Stills 
And then we're going to take Jenkins. We're going to quarterback spy him. And then we're just going to use her this right seam with the middle linebacker. And this is going to be our coverage defense. And you see that blitz angle gets in really effectively on that right side for whatever reason. Uh, it just does. It just, it just wins, baby. It just gets in. Um, and then our cover three play. So that was the cover two. Here's the cover three. We like to base a line. Uh, I personally like to spread the defensive line when I'm running coverage defense, but that's just me. And um, then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to manage let up on the slot. We're going to drop the spy, and we're going to say we're going to use that two-man rush. We're going to use this linebacker over here because this is our weak side if you want to talk about coverage. And we're just going to sit in a cover three now. We're going to say, you know, beat our cover three defense. And it's just a really difficult thing to do consistently if you're – mixing up your coverage defense with your man and zone and also mixing up your man and zone blitzes in combination with your base play and then if they run the ball you want to stop it with your run defense so that is how we put a scheme together the coverage defense and the blitzing defenses go hand in hand you don't want to play a ton more blitz or a ton more coverage you want to play out a little bit of both and they're going to work together for you to stop defenses in Madden 25. Be sure you go check out that Medium blog site. Uh, it's got some really good opportunities there for you guys to get involved. If you like content like that, if you like reading, if you like get, interacting with some really, really good guys over that Medium.com. It's one of the fastest growing blog sites in the web today. So check that out. And other than that, guys, that's all I've got for you guys. i got some new links in the description for you to check out. You got something on a YouTube partnership. Also, uh, i got an opportunity to offer you guys uh, I got the opportunity to offer a leak to go see War Thunder, and this is a game that I've um, um, got the opportunity to get paid to offer that in my description, and so you guys can check that out uh, if you would like. But what War Thunder is is basically just a PS4, another PS4 game, gives you the opportunity to uh, go into World War II and kind of take a, a flight into World War II and kind of see what it was like back in the day. That's the setting of the game. It's basically like a shooter role-playing game. So go check that out. It's it's one of the newer games, but uh, that's all we got for you guys today. And I'm sorry I played a couple things in this video. I'll try to not play anything next video, but a lot of stuff going on. Make sure you're involved. And the uh, best way to stay involved with me is to connect with me on Twitter at MadTips365. I'll see you there. Thanks, guys. We'll see you later.